Hi, I'm Dr. Monica Peek, and I'm a practicing internist in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to another episode of ACP's Physician to Physician Conversation Series. In this video, I'll provide practical strategies to help reinforce public health messages. The way that, uh, that emerging science has been reported in the media <laughs> often has limited or eroded some of the public trust in science. So we're in a public health crisis like none of us have seen in our lifetimes. There's a lot of information coming in daily. And so what I try to do is take complicated public health guidelines and data and make them understandable to the average patient. Sometimes it takes a while to come to consensus. And that is the very nature of medicine. But there is ultimately a lot of consensus around, yes, it's important to get the vaccines. It's sometimes a challenge to translate grand policy to an individual patient. What I like to do is start with an open-ended question to try and get a sense of what is important to that patient that is in front of me around their fears, their motivation, what they're you know working towards, what they're living for, to help me tailor the messages around why these vaccines are important. I work at the University of Chicago, which is located on Chicago's South Side neighborhood, working class, predominantly African-American community. So many of the patients that I take care of generationally has you know, fought for civil rights, that understands what it is to come together as a community to address, you know, problems that are facing that community. You know, what it is to sacrifice for your neighbor, be your brother's keeper. And so some of the things that I talk to my patients about and some of the language that I use with my patients aligns with that kind of lived experience that we're masking up, not just for ourselves, but for our neighbors that sense of community that has kept marginalized communities going through tough times. And so this is something that we understand like, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, I get that. I, I may not want to do this for me, but I know that I have to do it for my family and for my community. I always start with an open slate, an open mind. Tell me what you know about COVID. And what I like to tell people is what I'm doing, what choices I've made for myself, my family, and so this is what I have done. These are things that I take to heart for the ones who I want to be safe, myself included. And so let's talk about any reservations you might have because I want to see you live. That's all we have for today's video, but we'll be back with more vaccine content. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to receive updates on when our next video will be.